Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance and this Resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Lydia and here is her story. Hi Ollie, I just watched your most recent video entitled Societal Narcissism Attempting to Give the Borderline Monster a Pass. I listened with intent and understood a vast amount of the points you made. I'm writing this to you as someone tarred with the BPD diagnosis. You made a couple of videos in the past for me, the first in which you specifically say you don't believe from my story I have BPD. As much as I understand the type of borderline you discuss with much contempt, I would like to provide a counter narrative for you to consider why are you trying to hang the BPD thing on yourself if you don't have it. If I've already told you in the first video, and you've done several other videos with me, where I haven't called you out for BPD, stop where, stop hanging this across yourself, and then thinking you have to defend it. As someone who has been in and amongst the types of borderline you describe, I have to disagree that all follow the same pattern of behavior. I believe personally that many people are misdiagnosed as BPD based on two factors. They are female and they have, to, and they have do engage in self-harm behaviors or suicidal tendencies. I finished a therapeutic group for those with personality disorders, which lasted for two years. Over that time, I met the class of manipulative borderlines and people like me who have a level of understanding and introspectiveness that they can critically pick apart their own flaws. I have also met the opposite, those that are so hard-headed, never wrong, and perpetually a victim who refuse to ever accept that they are in the wrong for anything. A specific example of this was a lady that was in her th late 30s. For context, I am in my early 20s. This lady on a particular occasion messaged the therapist stating she was suicidal. She was going to act on these thoughts and then stopped responding to the therapist. The therapist at this point, clearly concerned for the lady's well-being as well as her own job, took the appropriate action and called the emergency services to do a welfare check. Turns out the lady was found hours later returning from a shopping trip by the police. She was happy and fine and she was with a friend. When confronted at group therapy about this disgusting behavior, she had nothing to say, but later complained that they were bullying her, saying that it is unacceptable to do to another human being. Trust me, I know which type of cunt you are talking about in reference to the borderline. But as someone with the same diagnosis as that, I have some reservations. But you're not a borderline. Why are you accepting the diagnosis? Why? Why are you... Because you can't listen. If you're trying to hold on to this to use it as some sort of victimization of your own, you can't do it. Why would you want to... If, why would you want to hang on to that? Why? Personally, I worry too much as being seen as manipulative. I barely ask for anything. Even simple things like physical health checks, I avoid as I don't want to put, put a strain on the NHS. The lady in the previous story has no mind to waste public resources, but I would be lying if I said that at one point in my late teens that I didn't act in a similar way to her. Not to that length, but in the way I self-harmed repeatedly, then sought out treatment from the hospital. You're 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 you're, you're a teenager. See, here's why where you're you are putting what you're going through as a teenager into adult decisions. 
This is what narcissistic abuse does. Okay, it makes you hold yourself accountable to actions as a child as if you did them as a friggin' full knowing adult. This is your abuse coming right out. And this is your abuse not allowing you to accept that you're not a fucking borderline. To the point where you think you need to have some some weird No, I understand what you're saying about those type of borderlines, but then there's this type of borderline. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. If you want to talk about people who've been misdiagnosed as borderline, it's you. It's you, and you're not accepting it. Things you do, decisions you make as a teenager, are not the same as decisions you make as an adult. Your brain isn't fully formed, especially when you've been abused by narcissists. I've done videos on this in the past. Why are you holding yourself, the child, you, your child self, to the same accountability as an adult? But that's what the narcissist forces you to do. And that's what you're doing here. Looking back, that was definitely attention-seeking behavior on my part. But now I look back with the shame that I was ever like that. You were a kid. You were a teenager. Why were you like that in the first place? Why? Because of who abused you. Not because you have some fucking mild form of borderline personality disorder that doesn't make you as manipulative as the fucking monsters I'm talking about. No. No, who wants you to think like that? The actual borderline. So they could, could dil dilute the fucking condition for what it really is. It took me three years, Max, to realize that this isn't okay in the slightest. This woman in her late 30s has still yet to learn. I accept part of the BPD, parts of the BPD diagnosis I know, I know myself to have. I have an unstable sense of self, chronic low self-esteem, and thoughts of worthlessness on occasion, and I resort to self-harm to cope. I skill, a skill I learned to cope with single parent narc mother I was subjected to but I don't flaunt it that's not borderline personality disorder that's post traumatic stress disorder that's not borderline personality disorder stop saying it is it isn't and whoever telling you it is you need to cut them out whether it's a therapist the doctor I don't give a fuck It's the single narc mother that you were subjected to why you're like this. Not some fucking weird offshoot of borderline personality disorder. I do not have a compulsion to enter long-term relationships at this moment. None of us do. Most of us don't. Most of us are introverts. I know I'm not ready for that as I need to gain confidence in my own self to pursue anything like that. I don't lash out at people for my own paranoid thoughts of this person doesn't like me as I understand that is my internal feeling projected out onto others. So I guess in conclusion I'm writing this as a borderline diagnosed to say we're not all stereotypical never changing perpetual victims. When you do this. When you do this, when you accept this diagnosis, this offshoot, you're helping these monsters. You're helping these monsters dilute, dilute the goddamn condition to water it the fuck down. You do the things you do because you have post-traumatic stress disorder, not because you have borderline personality disorder.
Some can overcome. No, they can't. Some cringe at the behavior you describe. I hope this doesn't come across as me being on a high horse. No, no. It comes across as somebody needs, still needs help and has not accepted Okay, they're at the, the, how, how badly they've been abused. Just because you recognize traits of the borderline in yourself when you're raised by them, that's the difference. You know the difference between right and wrong. You're not a fucking borderline. You're not a mild offshoot of borderline. None of it's borderline. None of it. <clears throat> I accept the parts of me that are unfavorable and I am determined to change over time until then I will focus on myself rather than drag others into my instability take care let me know what you think as always thank you Lydia Lydia stop 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 diluting borderline personality diluting borderline personality disorder by by accepting it for yourself because all you're doing is watering it down and you're watering it down so when somebody who actually somebody says that person's a fucking borderline. One of these actual monsters. They know what they're talking. What you mean? Oh well, is it this kind of? Is it is it the real dangerous ruin your lifetime, or is it like Lydia who who has no self esteem? Kind. Don't do it. Don't do it. So, I hope that helps. Thank you for another contribution and story, Lydia. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.